Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here on this Sunday. Let's talk some mountain weather. First stop is going to be radar to show you where the action is, and it's all up here into the Pacific Northwest, and that's where it's going to stay uh, into BC, interior BC, just a lot of Canada in general. But the issue is a lot of warm air is moving in with this, and the rain snow line will continue to creep up that freezing level. I think it could be oscillating in the Pacific Northwest and the Cascades, somewhere between six and 8,000 feet over the next three, even four days. So that's going to limit the amount of snow uh, at a number of ski areas as a result of that warmth. But then look at the lower, um, well, basically the central Rockies here, it's dry. High pressure is building and this is going to be a killer over the next, well, probably nine, 10, 11 days. Um, let me show you the uh, the satellite view here. So this is water vapor across the west. Whites and blues are going to be your moisture. The oranges, the reds, it's going to be your drier air. So a couple of things here. You've got this high pressure starting to establish itself. And the flow, the action is up here and kind of running around this area of high pressure. So that will continue to grow, that dome of high pressure and the storm systems will roll up in this direction and keep a lot of warmth moving in uh, to the west coast and even the central Rockies um, at times. So that's going to be your pattern. Here are my bullet points. A couple of things to uh, mention here. So this is really a winter killer, this high pressure coming in here between today and at least the 20th. You know, it looked like I don't know, three, four, five days ago we could have some sort of at least action on the eastern periphery of this high pressure now that is becoming less and less likely you know that north flow that possible north flow through montana wyoming colorado there might still be just a little bit of that in the extended forecast but even it has dried up and trending a lot weaker so it's going to be a longer stretch with this i talked about the warm surge into the pacific northwest here's your 15 day snow so Mammoth, Vail, Snowmass, Park City, Alta, and the numbers you see here are very small, obviously, but they all occur very late in the period. I mean, like after the 20th. Here are your best odds of accumulating snow for Colorado, Tahoe, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, the Pacific Northwest, and Interior, BC. And for the majority of these locations in the Central Rockies, like Colorado, it's a waiting game till 23-24. I mean, guys, that is a long way out. Tahoe 22, Utah 22, 23, Idaho's there. Wyoming and Montana might have a teeny tiny bit coming down on 120, but, and then it's 122, 123. The Pacific Northwest, of course, different story. It's just you're going to have an issue with rain snow. Interior BC, you might also have, well, it looks like you will have an issue with rain snow at some of the base areas through interior BC uh, between today, tomorrow, and the morning of the 13th with this this heavy batch a precip moving through. All right, let's look at the um, atmospheric pressure anomalies and kind of just look at the state of the atmosphere. So this is up at about 18,000 feet. We're looking for higher than normal pressures or lower than normal pressures. And so um, where you see all these bright colors, these oranges, these reds, these tans, that's higher than normal pressures. And then the dark colors would be lower than normal pressures, the colder colors. And that's what you see. It's high pressure west and lower than normal pressures on the 14th. Um, this is the, really the, the peak of this, this high uh, across the west. Um, looking down the road, this is 120. A little bit of a weakness right here sliding through the northern Rockies, but still looking at a lot of high pressure centered over the Rockies. This is going to be 123. Finally, a little bit of something right here indicated on Friday the 23rd with maybe an area of low pressure coming through. That's probably... Um, the next best shot, believe it or not, of any sort of snow for California, Utah, Colorado, in the for even Wyoming in the forecast, Idaho included. Let's compare, compare notes here. I just showed you the operational. Let's look at AI. Now AI is quite different. It's got a low here and higher than normal pressures over here. So what you say when you look at something like this is there's not a lot of agreement the confidence would be low. Confidence is low anyway for a forecast that's on 123 12 days from now, but it is just interesting. And this is what these forecasts will become now is, is looking way out to try to figure out where we might have some agreement on a pattern change. 
but that's the way it looks right now. We'll look at that in the coming days as well. I want to show you this. So this is a national view of the nine day total precip. This should paint that picture for you right away. Total precip. Here's your pattern. Look at where all the precip is. Look at where there isn't any precip. That's your high pressure. Zooming in on that. This is total precipitation across the west. Same map just zoomed in, but animated as well. So there's your high pressure. Let's do 10 to 1 snow. Um, nine days. It's all up here. It's all up here, but with very high rain snow lines. Um, the southwest viewpoint is the same. It's dry over most of the uh, the west, southwest. Um, looking at the AI snow plume over the next 10 to 15 days, yeah, I mean, for Berthoud, this has got about 3 inches, and most of it comes after the 20th. For Jackson Hole, it's got about 4.5. Most of it comes after the 20th. So it's the bottom line is, guys, it is going to be a waiting game until at least we get after the 20th then we'll see what develops. Um, let's go into um, my forecast. So this is uh, basically today through the end of 120. Grand totals by the close of business on 120. So the precip, the forecast, snowfall is all up here as I see it. Quite a bit in Alieska as the whole pattern contracts to the north. The limiting factor through Crystal, Timberline, Snoqualmie, Baker, Heather, uh, you know, Heather Meadows, essentially the ski uh, area there. Stevens Pass down to Bachelor. I mean, this entire area over the next probably three to five days will suffer because of warm temps. And so that's really precluding any significant snow accumulation in that area. But once you go to higher elevations, like up at Whistler, you're looking at accumulation uh, a bit through interior BC and Alberta. But again, also those areas will be somewhat limited at the lower elevations by the warm temps. And, and you know what, they're just, you know, there might be a couple of small streamers that come down the jet um, in the extended forecast through Montana, Wyoming, and maybe uh, Colorado, but there, there just isn't anything appreciable to accumulate. Let's go to the Northeast. So this is nine day total snow, rolling accumulation, and there's at least three clippers here. Deep purple would be at least six inches, bright pink would be a foot or more. And yeah, there's definitely some bright pink over the top of the ski areas in the northeast. Here's my forecast. So by the close of business on 120, I've got over a foot at Jay Peak. I've got 10s, Mount Washington, Sunday River, Sugarloaf, 10 at Snow Ridge, 9 at White, Whiteface, and 5 to 8 here through the heart of Vermont, New Hampshire. Um, so that could be a decent stretch through the 20th. We'll see what these numbers look like in the coming days, but that's pretty good. All right, guys, we're going to end on the big western map here across the west. Um, one thing I think I'm going to do potentially later today um, or even tomorrow and be on the lookout for this is I'm going to talk about this transition that's happening uh, from La Nina to El Nino. Now it looks like a lot of the, the data coming in is suggesting a very rapid turnover to El Nino by the time we get to spring and summer and, and that'll have an impact on of course the pattern and the snow uh, the snow the storm track and the snow forecast going forward as well so I'll do a whole separate video on that coming up but you can see what we're facing right here we've got the winter killer high pressure coming in guys thanks for tuning in here always appreciate it take care and have a great day